Hey friends, welcome back to another Friday Faith Foundation episode on the Robin Graham Show. I am your host, Robin Graham, and it is just me, you, the mic today. No fanfare. These episodes are meant just to provide some inspiration around faith and entrepreneurship and merging the two together to stay aligned with our purpose and achieve success, but achieve success our way. Um, in the way that we define success. And I am curious, how do you define success? Do you define success with a revenue number? Do you define success with impact? Uh, I would love to hear from you. Email me at info at therobingrahams.com and share that with me. Like, you know, as a podcast host, it's so hard because we we're here every single week, but we don't know who's listening. We see ratings and reviews, we see downloads, but we don't know the actual people. So I would love to hear from you and get to know you more and develop a relationship with you. So if you're interested in that, I would love to hear from you. Just shoot me an email and tell me what you learned from this episode, what resonated with you or what your definition of success is. I can't wait to hear from you. So today the topic is going to be, you need hope for the entrepreneurship journey. Being a business owner is exciting, it's fun, inspiring, joyful, and purposeful, but you need hope in order to stay positive and have the strength to follow your dreams and achieve your goals and that desired level of success that you have. Hope is that desire that keeps us moving forward, and you need hope for a positive mindset to stay motivated, to put one foot in front of the other. Sometimes the excitement wanes or doubts set in and hope is really important for keeping us moving forward to stay on track, to keep the momentum going whenever those type of interruptions or distractions occur. The psalmist in Psalm 32 says, we wait in hope for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. In him, our hearts rejoice. For we trust in his holy name. May your unfailing love be with us, Lord, even as we put our hope in you. And in Psalm 137, we read, Israel, put your hope in the Lord. For with the Lord is unfailing love, and with him is full redemption. In Matthew, Mark, and Luke, the Gospels, we are told the story about the woman that was bleeding for 12 years. According to doctors, at that time, there was no cure for her, nothing anyone could do for her. But she didn't give up hope. She had faith. When she learned about Jesus, she believed that he was the Messiah, the chosen one. So through faith, she held on to that hope, the faith in him that he could heal her. And she believed so strongly, she had so much hope that she thought if she just touched him, she could be healed. And her hope went so deep, her faith went so deep that she believed that if she could just touch his robe, she would be healed. And she was. She had experienced pain, bleeding, and humiliation. She was outcast. She was shunned for 12 years. Back in that day, that time, if you were bleeding, you were, dis you were disgusting, you were filthy, and you weren't worthy of being around other people. They were scared of you. And so you were outcast, you were shunned. So her faith became so incredibly important for her. And that is what she leaned on every day to get through this time. 12 years of, I mean, think about it, misery, right? But she held on to hopeful expectations the entire time. And her faith, when she learned of Jesus, is what healed her. It's a story of hope for all of us. Whether you're going through personal challenges, illness, loss, relationship struggles, trauma, you have hope in Jesus. It's easy to doubt in times of struggle, but you feel hope when you continually nurture your faith, and pray. Even in a drought of clients, you can have hopeful expectations because God is never late 
his timing is perfect and limitless. The woman waited 12 years for healing. I hope you don't have to wait 12 years for the answer of your prayers. I hope I don't have to wait 12 years. But through this story, we see that even if it does take 12 years, God does answer because his timing is perfect. When no one else could help this woman, when everyone else shunned her, God held her. He had a plan for her. And he has a plan for you too, friend. He has an incredible plan for you. And whatever it is you're walking through right now, know that he knows the good that's on the other side of that. And he will use it for good. We know that a positive mindset is important for many reasons. Over the past few years, we've shared much about mindset in different episodes and blog posts. We know that beliefs are incredibly important as well. And the mind influences our outcomes and our level of success and all that we achieve. Remember, our beliefs influence our thoughts. Our thoughts influence our feelings and emotions. Our emotions and feelings then determine the choices and behaviors we make and those then influence our outcomes. So if we have a positive mindset, if we have a mindset of hopeful expectation, we're going to be thinking more positively. And as we move down that path, we're going to have more positive outcomes. When you have faith in God's timing and that it is limitless and perfect because he sees the entire picture, not only today, but also the future, you will have hopeful expectations, a mindset of expectation that he will answer your prayers. You'll be able to think positively and therefore continue to take positive action steps in your business and in your life to create progress and then build momentum. To achieve goals and reach your desired level of success, you must have the right mindset plus strategy plus action. It's never one or the other, and it's never two without one. It's all three. But to create a strategy and take action, you have to have, you have to believe in what's possible. You have to have a positive mindset a mindset of hopeful expectation. Without a positive mindset, you won't have clarity to create a strategy. And without a strategy, you don't know what steps to take to move yourself forward. A positive mindset begins with faith, believing in what's possible through God's grace and his magnificent timing. Take action but don't rush. Prayerfully consider and discern your decisions, your thoughts, anything that you're considering. Remember that God speaks to you through the Holy Spirit, and you may hear this through thoughts. You may hear an audible voice. You may hear things in conversation, but it's really important for you to discern. Are these thoughts positive? Are they aligned with God's character? Are they aligned with your purpose and God's will for you, or are they coming from another source like Satan or negative worldly influences? So it's very important to discern. If you doubt or lack faith, Hebrews 6, 12 reminds us that we are not to be sloth-like or depending on the translation, lazy or complacent in our faith and our relationship with God. When we slack off or don't spend time in scripture and prayer and in relationship with the Lord, we lose sight of what's possible through him. A positive mindset, a mindset of hopeful expectations will, if we don't have that, will, I guess per se, escape from our faith. We'll lose our faith. So it's really important to stay in God's word, and to stay focused on listening, hearing, and believing. I pray over you today, friend. 
Lord, thank you for the hope you have given us through Jesus and your limitless gifts of hope, grace, and love. Please calm this beautiful soul's heart and quiet her mind so she will hear you speaking to and guiding her. Grant her an elevation in her faith in you and hope in all things possible through that faith. You are so good, Lord. Help us take the hope found only in you and share it while using your gifts to serve others and bring glory to you through all we say and do. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. I hope you feel blessed today, friend. I'm blessed just getting to be here with you. Thank you for being here. And remember that uh, there are a lot of links in the show notes for additional episodes to go deeper into some of these things that I mentioned, like discerning, staying close to God's word and um, hope and other different um, episodes that we've produced previously. So you can go to the show notes for that. And there's also a link for a free ebook, 37 Bible verses every entrepreneur needs to reflect on and live by. And if you're feeling like you're not quite sure how to start reading scripture or to start praying more, these Bible verses will lead you, guide you, and give you that fresh start. So thank you for being here, friends. If you know anyone who could use this information, please share it. And like I said at the beginning, please email me or send me a DM. Let me know what you what your takeaway was and share with me what your definition of success is. Thanks again, and I'll see you next week.